test of the Venge. What's the Venge like doing right? I think it's, it's not a bad bike. It's pretty comfy for a, a crip sort of race aero bike. Uh, does it feel any faster for the... I can't tell this is marketing for me. But it does, it's not a bad bike. It's definitely not a bad bike. Uh, I would say it's more of a, a racy crip bike. The wheels, carbon clinches, braking surface not so good. But if you know that, you know that. Uh, they're not as good as a lightweight in terms of braking surface. Comfortable wheeler, comfortable wheel. Pretty comfortable bike. Uh, a bit flexy, a bit noodly for me compared to the TCR again. TCR is a benchmark for me. Um, the cranks I would change out, put compact on there for climbing and racing. You can race crits and compact unless you're like, you have to be, the sprint that finish has to be like, you know, 75, 80k an hour to spin out a compact. Otherwise you're good to go. The SRAM Force 22 works really good. Overall, the seat, I love the seat on this bike. The bars feel pretty stiff. I would like flat top, but a nice bike, not a band bike at all. It's more of a racy sort of bike. So if you're into racing, mainly racing, racing, racing. I could ride this bike. I could do a 500k ride in this bike, no worries. But I'd probably go for something different, like a Diverge or a TCR. But it's, it's not a bad bike at all. The Venge. Always, always curious to ride one. I've ridden one, flashed around a bit. Not a bad bike at all. Who's it going to suit? It's going to suit more the one hour rider. It's more of a, this bike's more like, you know, pop a few Adderall, a few Pro Vigil, a few Paracetamol, punch it out for an hour. That's the sort of bike this one is. You can, still could ride it all day, but it's, uh, you have to make some tweaks, put some fatter tyres on there, and slap a compact on there for sure, and a power meter. Otherwise, not a bad bike at all.